Ex-wife came back after leaving me three years ago with my nieces and nephews. This is a throwaway account. It's a bit long. Brief timeline. I, 40, met my ex-wife, 39, in college when I was 19. We dated for eight years. Engaged for two and were married for eight. Before marriage we had both agreed to not wanting any biological children or children in general. After marriage we were still in agreement that children were not in our future plans. I even had a vasectomy. We were adamant on not having children. We wanted to live together just the two of us. Everyone on both sides of our family knew of our decision and though some of them insisted. Later they didn't care as much anymore. So for eight years we were happy. Well as happy as a married couple can be. Our communication was great. I mean I believe she was my soulmate. We were together a total of 18 years. I knew her like the back of my hand. I loved her with all my heart and soul. Then comes 2019. My sister and her husband unfortunately passed away in an accident leaving behind three young children. Aged. 7. 5. 10 months. It came down to a situation of who would take care of these kids. My brother-in-law had two sisters but they had multiple kids of their own. So it didn't seem feasible. As for his parents. Unfortunately they were already deceased. That left my side of the family. My parents could have taken the children but they're on the older spectrum and well beyond their child caring days. So that left me. The only sibling. And of course the other option foster care. Understand. That there was no way in hell I was letting this happen. So. I took the kids. Now their parents had been responsible financially. So taking the kids isn't much of a financial burden. Their college funds have been somewhat taken care of. So really I just need to focus on their upbringing and providing for them. Before taking the kids I spoke with my wife. Laid out the options and why they weren't feasible and why I needed to take them in. My wife agreed. That foster care wasn't an option when I was in a position to take them in. However, she also said that she couldn't stay married to me once I took the kids in. This came as a shock and a surprise. At no point did she make she choose between her or the kids. There is a reason why my ex-wife doesn't want children however I don't feel that it's my place to divulge that information so I won't. But to say the least I understood and accepted. But given the situation I was hoping she'd understand. I even suggested therapy to get over this hurdle. Which she declined. She had therapy in the past growing up and that's how she reached the conclusion that she doesn't want kids. My wife left and we ultimately got a divorce. We parted on amicable terms the kids came to stay with me and have stayed with me for the past three years. In those years I had to put my heart together again. I had to be a father. Things weren't easy. But we're in a good place now. Now 2022. My ex-wife invited me out for coffee and asked if we might try again. Once again I was shocked. And really I don't remember much after that. Me. What changed? Why now suddenly after this time? Her. I regret the divorce. I have for the past three years. I've gone to therapy like you suggested. A lot more was said but it didn't really sink in. Due to my profession and my new role as father I didn't have a lot of time to meet anyone. Honestly I couldn't I wasn't ready to move on. But I was stunned and the hurt and resentment from the past three years came at me all at once. I wanted to laugh. To cry. To scream. But I just sat there. In truth. I can't say she completely abandoned me in the past three years. She would call every odd month. Short conversations to ask how I was doing. How the kids were doing. She even bought them Christmas presents and would sometimes talk to them on the phone. Short stuff like they shouldn't cause too much trouble for me. Or they should be good. The kids are familiar with her. But she hasn't exactly been a constant in their lives. With her coming back and asking for another go. I don't know what to do. Do I still love her? 
Yes. Am I angry with her? Yes. Do I want her in mine and the kids' lives? I don't know. She's amazing. The best human I ever met. But she hurt me. Deeply. She left when I wished she'd hold on tighter. I want her back. But is it the right thing to do? I'm a father now. I can't just think about myself. Do we start over? Back to dating? I mean she might not like this new version of me. I've changed. I'm different. I'm a father and my priority is to my nieces and nephews. I'm so confused I haven't been sleeping well. I wish she hadn't been such a decent human being so I could hate her. I wish we hadn't divorced so amicably still so in love. I wish she'd gone to therapy sooner. I wish that she hadn't left. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Edit. Thank you so much for the insight you've all provided so far. I am at a loss of words. I would like answers or a more in-depth explanation as to what changed. So after reading some of the comments, I decided to propose we meet to talk this weekend. To which she agreed. As for the kids, the oldest now 11 has been seeing a therapist for about a year now. Initially him and his younger sibling now 8 were seeing a counselor but for the oldest it was recommended he see a therapist. On that note, I am now looking into therapy. The resentment I have towards her caught me off guard. I had accepted her reasoning for divorce and at the time I thought I moved on. But when she requested to start again, I don't know. The hurt I went through turned sour quickly. I know she doesn't deserve this for choosing what she did. I just need time. Edit 2. Last one until our meeting this weekend. I feel I should say this. At no point did I wish to turn my ex-wife into the villain of this story. So I do feel the need to defend her. The reason as to why she did not wish to have children is because she grew up in an extremely troubled household. Her father was the worst father to ever be known. He abused her physically and emotionally for years. As for her mother, she had been a drug addict and had stolen from my ex-wife repeatedly when she was younger and working part-time. When I met her she had been living with a distant relative. Because the situation at home had got so bad she'd been hospitalized and her father arrested. During our dating period, then-girlfriend had been going through individual therapy and couples therapy with me. She didn't know how to communicate without yelling at me. We worked through our issues. She stopped yelling. I haven't heard her yell in years. The things with her past with her father and mother were worked on as well. The issue came in that my ex-wife didn't think she would be a good mother. She was scared that just like how she'd taken yelling as a form of communication from her parents. She'd be a similarly horrible mother to any child. She didn't want to damage the child or be responsible for hurting the child. Which I understood. I've never wanted kids so it didn't bother me not having kids. In addition because of our careers. We both perused medicine. Having children just didn't line with our professional ambitions. When I took in the kids I believe she thought her fears might materialize. This is why I had initially suggested therapy so that she could work through this feelings. This is messy. I don't think that anyone was wrong here other than fate. But this won't be easy. I get why you have resentment. While you may be able to understand why she left intellectually, emotionally, it's still a kick in the teeth. On some level, you feel she left you when you were down. Have you spoken to anyone about your grief about your sister's passing? and the end of your old life? My concerns here would be. 1. What has changed? Obviously the kids are with you. Why is she back now? Did she date? And nothing really worked out for her so you are the backup plan? 2. Would she be able to be in their lives as even a step-parent? Or does she just want to date you? And not deal with the kids too much? There are a lot of unanswered variables here. If you decide you are willing to try, you will have to move very slowly, and perhaps slowly introduce her to the kids. Counseling for you and perhaps the two of your sounds like a good idea.
I think that, whatever you do, you move slow. She was abruptly faced with a life she absolutely did not want. She did what she thought was right. However painful. After time to reflect, she's decided that she might be willing to figure things out. If you get good vibes. Start dating. Not get married. No. Not yet. And be extremely clear that you are now a father. And that is going to be a huge part of your life. If she's willing to work with that and maybe do couples counseling. Then I can see this working out. Neither of you were really in the wrong. I understand your hurt, and if you do get back together, you need to make sure that you deal with that hurt healthily and not hold it over her. Or foster resentment. Good luck to both of you. And to the kids as well. As a parent myself, I know fatherhood has changed you in every area of your life. She has to understand the life she once lived with you no longer exists. Calling every once in a while and giving presents would not give her the full picture of raising children. So do you believe she is prepared for the challenges of parenthood? Do you trust her not to leave again if being a parent is too much for her? Can you truly get past the resentment and hurt? I like you, took on the responsibility of raising my young niece and nephew after my only sibling passed away. Even though I was already a parent, my sons were teenagers by that point so it was unexpected to basically start over. My ex-husband actually stepped up and co-parents with me. He didn't have to but he did and I was not alone. My suggestion is to take your time making a decision possibly seek therapy yourself. Please don't forget to take care of yourself. As you've stated several times over, this isn't about you or her now. It's about the kids. They already lost two parents and had their aunt leave because of them moving in. My biggest worry is that you try again and she bolts after months, years. These kids need stability, and I'm not sure if your ex-wife offers that. I think you need therapy, individual and couple, and time to decide if you want to try again. Take it slow. Your resentment and hurt over her leaving you is valid even if she wasn't necessarily wrong for leaving but that doesn't erase three years of hurt and doing it alone. I really think that the answer to this depends on why she didn't, doesn't, want children. You don't have to actually share it. But it sounds like it's related to some kind of trauma. I'm just not sure if your ex-wife will be able to act as a mother figure to these children if she has trauma associated with children, parenting. And she will be a mother figure. Even if it's in a limited capacity as a stepmom. And if she was willing to divorce you over this before. It seems strange that she's just changed her mind. You need to get to the bottom of that. Does she want kids now? What happened in the past three years that made her change her mind? Is she truly ready to be there when things get tough? Does she have the children's best interest at heart? Love is not going to be enough in this situation. You need to know that she has gone to therapy and is fully ready to support you and the children. Do not start anything until you are 100% certain. Also, just as a side note op, I would definitely suggest therapy for you and the children. The kids have obviously lost their parents and the older ones would have definitely felt the effects. So therapy could help avoid some PTSD, survivors guilt related issues when they're older. You, up, also had in really three years. Losing your sibling, wife, and adopting three children all at once is insane. Make sure to take care of yourself and therapy would be a huge part of that. Tough one. Both of you were in the right. No, bad guy, here. You left amicably. I understand you're angry with her. But really she didn't do anything wrong. Have you had a deep conversation about the kids? She's fine with them now? The pessimistic in me also would be very careful about other motives. Financial. She couldn't find someone and you're the fallback. I would not let her move right in. I wouldn't combine dollar.
I would also likely never marry her again so she'd have to be okay with being one of those long-term couples that aren't married. I just want to start my answer with saying nobody is in the wrong here. You both were 100% against kids. Tragedy happened and you threw away your life's child-free plans to stick up for your family. That's noble. And by doing so, you discarded your life with your wife, giving her no other option. But how did she respond? Respectfully, she was an adult about it. And you both took the courses of actions that were best for everyone. I understand your confusion here. And the pain. I get it. It's valid. But you are resenting your wife for not instantly dropping the plan that you both openly shared for years. You knew that kids were never supposed to be on the table here. So what now? Honestly, it's up to you. But I personally think you should at least forgive her because it sounds like you've directed a lot of resentment and frustration towards her as a way of coping with the loss of family and becoming a father of three overnight. You don't have to try again with your ex. But she never gave up on you. She held to her guns. Still cared and contacted you regularly to see how you are. Went to therapy. It's completely reasonable for her to react how she did and need time to accept the idea of becoming a mother figure after a lifetime of avoiding it. Edits for spelling. I can't type on my phone. I don't think what she did was wrong. It was a boundary she wasn't willing to cross at the time. I'd suggest getting therapy yourself. You became a dad to three. Lost your sister and your divorced your wife in what seems to be a relatively short period of time. Maybe the resentment you feel isn't necessarily towards your ex-wife but rather towards the situation you were in three years ago. First sorry for your loss I know it's been a while but I could not picture a world without my siblings. I really don't know what to tell you other than to go slow. You have every right to be angry with her. Good on you for stepping up for your family. If it was reversed, had she stayed and then decided to leave because she couldn't be a mom and left after three years. How would you have felt about that? She knew she wasn't ready. That it was a huge life-changing event. And left so that you could focus on becoming a dad. Because that was the choice you made for yourself. It wasn't a wrong decision. She left because the relationship changed in a way you both had explicitly said you didn't want for yourselves. I think deciding later on in life that she would be okay to be a mom. Rather than deciding later on that she didn't want to be a mom and leaving. Is the better option for those kids. I'm confused about what exactly she wants here. Is she willing to help raise the kids now cuz they aren't going anywhere and she can't go half in. She made the right decision for herself years ago. But she can't just say she's ready now and expect things to be the same. Does she want to be a parent now? Or does she only want a date without any commitment to the kids? I would take at least a year of dating and therapy and then longer to see how she would be with the children. You don't have to make a decision today or tomorrow. You can get someone to talk to about this. You both need to get to know the person you are now and she needs to decide who she is in your life. And the children's because leaving again isn't going to be as smooth with children involved this time and they come first always. She regrets the divorce. But is she ready to be full in as a mom? Not that that will happen immediately. But she needs to be 100% sure she's ready to be a parental figure for these kids otherwise there's no point in even questioning getting back with her. Will she add value to you in the children's lives? Will you resent her for coming back? Do you trust her not to leave again when it gets hard? Do you think she would be beneficial for the kids and yourself or just you? I think this isn't a black and white situation but one that really needs to be thought through. Before deciding, if you have a therapist, I suggest asking them. Begin with couples therapy and a lot of talking.
take things slow. She has to win you back and also show she is worthy of introducing to the kids as a parental figure. This is no joke. She can't leave them again six months later. I think the reason she doesn't want kids is important here. What if it is something like irrational fear where she would harm a baby? Or something like that. Something she may have worked through in therapy. I get what you are saying but you provided her a huge life offering change and therapy wouldn't have fixed that right away. You have a right to be mad and hurt but she didn't betray you. I think therapy together at this point will help and to slowly see if you can rebuild things. I have to say as a dad, a husband, and further down the line than you, I wouldn't be taking her back in. The youngest is four. My life would be about the four and not the five. What if she ups and leaves again? Then you will be broken twice but you will be broken while trying to be uncle, dad. But I'm not you. I'm me. She was 100% okay to leave. She didn't sign up for this and it wasn't her fight. You should work on forgiving her. Ask her if she was getting mugged and you ran. Or she became paralyzed and you left her. How would she handle that? You needed her and she vanished. Which is her right. But why bring her back after that? Did you guys have wedding vows? What did they say? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.